G'day folks, I've set off from home today with just a few hours to go on wet a line and see if I can catch a fish and this is the first spot that I've stumbled across. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now I set off today with no plans, no idea where I was going to go. I brought two bait fishing rods and one lure fishing rod, a, uh, my soft plastic rod. And I've been driving around looking at waterways and I found this spot here under a busy road. Now while this creek has a really good flow of water now, it actually gets very, very low in summer and it may even stop flowing, I'm not sure. I wouldn't call this a permanent creek, but it's been permanent for the last couple of years. Now, there's always water in here in the deep hole, even if the creek does stop flowing. So that's permanent water, but it's not permanently flowing water. I don't know what to expect today, but I figure if there's permanent water, there's got to be something here. There might only be yabbies, it might be yabbies and carp, there might even be a redfin, possibly even a blackfish, who knows? There's only one way to find out, and that's to throw the line in and have a bit of a look. So, anyway, let's get the lines in and see if we can catch a fish. You can see that there's a nice clear spot here in the middle of all these reeds. I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> anyway, I put, I've got two rods here. I'm going to have Janjuk worms on both. I've got a Patnoster rig on this. I think I put a running sinker rig on the other, but I've got to rig the other rod up. So, I'll throw the, the short rod in first. Just leave that in while I rig the second rod up. It's really deep out there. Now line number two, as planned, has the running sinker rig. I'm just going to put that over that way. Now both lines are in. I'll give them around about an hour. I haven't got a lot of time today. I've actually got to go and have a scan this afternoon. I've got a bit of a lump here. The doctor thinks it might be something called a ganglion cyst. I've never heard of it, but some days it's really big and hard, and other days like now it's sort of gone away a bit. But anyway, he thinks that's okay, but he wants me to go and have a scan just in case. So I'm booked in for that this afternoon. So I've got a bit of, bit of a uh, tight schedule. So I'll give this spot about an hour, and if nothing happens, I'll go and try somewhere else. Well folks, an hour has passed and I have not had a single touch. So I'm going to head over to my favourite carp and redfin fishing spot close to home and give that a couple of hours. And just like that I've made it to one of my favourite fishing spots. Although there's a fair bit of water pushing through here at the moment. More than when I usually fish here. We've had quite a bit of rain lately and that's why there's so much water around. But anyway, I reckon I've caught fish in here when it's been higher than this so... Might, might go okay. I'll extend my landing net just in case because I've caught some enormous carp in this spot and some nice redfin. It seems surreal sitting here at this time of the day. Normally I come here late in the afternoon with just a few hours of daylight left. It's really weird being here in the middle of the day at the brightest time with the sun high in the sky like that. I just had a nibble on the, uh, pattern, on the running sinker rod, the long rod. That's a good sign. I'm going to make a slight change to my system here. I'm going to put a second rod holder in up here so that I can move this rod over so that I can put this short rod down there. Oh, that's a nice bite. Oh, he's still there and got him. Oh, it's a big old carpio. I only just moved that. That's right, I didn't. I didn't move the, the line, I just moved the rod. It's a very fat carp. Now if you can hear my voice in the background while I'm filming, don't worry, it's just an amazing podcast with me in it. <laughs> I recorded a podcast with the fishing shed at Bathurst recently and it, uh, it dropped yesterday morning so I'm just sitting here listening to that podcast while I'm fishing so if you can hear me talking over me or in the background of me, that's why. Where's my net? Carpio. Into the net. Got him! Yes, he's gone from the waterway. Let's get a photo. Whenever I fish here, I always lay the fish down here for the photo. But the grass is that long, I can't get a good photo. And I'm not normally here in the middle of the day, so the shadows are all out of whack. Anyway, there's me carp. You can hear the Fishing Shed Bathurst podcast with me in it. I better get this line back in. Now with that carp in a deep sleep, it's time to put my line back in with some fresh worms on it. Just listen to that podcast. Jeez, I've got the gift of the gab. People always tell me I talk a lot, but it's not until I listen to a uh, 
a podcast that I'm in <laughs> that I realise just how true that is. <laughs> There's a turtle just came to the surface out there and went under. I've never seen that here before. I actually haven't caught a lot of turtles in this spot. I don't... I think I have caught one or two over the years, but it's certainly not something I catch here often. Just had a big bite on the running sinker rig. Just had a nice bite. Been a while. The last bite was about 10 minutes ago. Oh, a bite on this rod now too. Got him. Oh, look at the colour of it. It's a bright orange goldfish. Can you believe that? It's a bright orange goldfish. <laughs> Have a look at it. Where's my net? That is super cool. Well, it's not cool for the environment, and like all carp, I'll be taking it out of the waterway. Not before a photo or a ten. Wow! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have a look at that. <laughs> Have a look at that. That is unnaturally, it just really doesn't blend into anything, does it? That is just absolutely incredible. Anyway, I'm going to have to put it out of its misery because we don't want it breeding up and then get my line back in. I'm excited to catch it, but glad to see it out of the water at the same time. Well, that was quite incredible, a bright orange goldfish. Anyway, I've got a couple of fresh worms on. I'm going to put my line back in. Now, if I can work out how, I will put a link in the video description below to the podcast that I'm just that I've just finished listening to that I uh, that I recorded with the fishing shed in Bathurst. Anyway, I'll talk to you before Friday. Two of the weather forecasts. Yeah, right. Then I'm getting bloody bites here while I'm talking to you. Haven't had many bites. It's been a little bit quiet. I've been here for quite a while. Yeah, it's right. just stopped now. I just struck and missed. All right. Well, anyway, see what happens. There's a bit of rain forecast for tomorrow, but I thought that'd be There he is, he's back. Got him! It's a carpio. Not a goldfish, not a bright orange carpio. Just a normal, regular carp coloured carpio. Bigger than the goldfish, but smaller than the first carp. Big enough to require the use of a landing net because it'll probably snap my line if I try and lift it straight out. Usually when I fish here, the rod on this side catches all the fish and the one out there just picks up the odd one, but today, the rod over that side's out fishing the rod on this side. Have a look at the condition of this carp. It is so fat. I suspect that's a combination of a couple of things. They've been pigging out during the recent flooding events. There's probably been lots of worms and food and stuff washed into the system. And also, I've been here for probably an hour and a half, and I've only caught three, or two, if you don't include the goldfish. It's not like Broken Creek or other places, Billabong Creek, where I've been able to catch 12 or 15 just in half an hour. I've got to sit here and wait. There's not as many here as there are in those creeks. Therefore, there's not as much competition for food. The fish in those streams are all small and lean, but these ones are getting bigger and fatter. Anyway, I better put it to sleep and get my line back in. Right, I've got two fresh worms, and I'm going to put this line back in. Then I'm going to check the worms on this other rod because it's sort of fallen a bit quiet. And then I'm going to check the time because I reckon I've only got about half an hour of uh, half an hour left before I've got to pack up and go home, and then get this lump on my wrist scanned. It's 1.27. I've got about half an hour left. I want to pack up about 2 o'clock and go home. Have I got time to catch one more fish? Can I catch a keeper? A nice red fin or something? Wouldn't that be nice? That's a bite. Quite a large bite. That is on there. Got him. Another big carp, is it? I've caught red fin here before, but it's not looking like it's going to happen today. Yep, another carpio. I thought I was getting a bite on my other rod there, but I think he's just tangled around it. Where are the red fin? Where are the reddies at? Sat here for ages without a bite, and I've caught 
had quite a lot of action just in the last half an hour. It's like a bite window has opened. A carp bite window. It's a bit more like the first one, this one. Yeah, there he is. Seen one, seen them all. Gotta get me line back in. Oh, a couple more fresh worms. Would you believe that since I caught that goldfish earlier, I've been trying to share a report and a photo of it on my Patreon page for my Patreon followers to, to see. And the whole time I've been trying to do it, I, my dad rang me, I was on the phone to him for a while, I've had quite, quite a lot of nibbles, a bit of fishing action, a few carp, it's taken me so long just to share that photo. <laughs> right. What did I say before, I had half an hour less left, can I catch another one? Well I've got about 20 minutes left. Can I catch another fish? Oh, stumpy rod's getting a bit of a, a bit of a look in again. Can't believe how many bites I'm getting now. The first hour I sat here, I barely had a touch. I'm just sitting here looking at the photos of my big goldfish, trying to work out what I can title this video. <laughs> how about the freshwater red emperor? <laughs> the freshwater snapper. <laughs> They're bright orange. <laughs> oh. I just put my chair, my net and everything away, I'm just about to pack up and as I come down to pick up my rods, both rods had a nibble at exactly the same time. Haven't had a touch for 20 minutes, put everything away, walk down and tap tap tap, tap tap tap. I'll just give it a couple of minutes. Well folks, unfortunately no redfin for me today. Just a few carp and a freshwater red emperor. Or was it a Murray River coral cod? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it was, it was the craziest looking fish I reckon I've ever caught. Ha, 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 ha.